Hey honey, welcome to my channel Design by Ida. My name is Teresa, I'm a professional fashion designer. And today I'm gonna teach you how to design ski pants. And I'm gonna go through how to design them, how to um, remember all the practical functions ski pants need to have. And also how to consider price when you're making your design decisions, okay? So the first thing you need to decide on is the fabric you're gonna choose. Um, I normally sit down with a fabric supplier and I go through hundreds of fabric swatches and I, I look at them first because I want to have a certain look maybe and then I will choose a, a weave or like a, a face of the fabric that I like that is appealing to me. I will touch it, I will pull it to the side up and down and check the stretch. So normally for ski pants I would want a fabric with a good stretch and you can choose if you want a two-way stretch, meaning it just goes from this, from side to side, or if you want a four-way stretch fabric that goes from side to side and also up and down. Of course, the four-way stretch allows for better movement, more motion fit garments. So it's better, but it's also, also a lot of times more expensive. So you need to consider that. And um, for pants, pants can be tricky because you want, lightweight, comfortable, stretchy pants that you don't really notice are there. You kind of want them to be like invisible in a way. You know, you want to be able to just ski and go crazy and have fun and not have to worry about something being tight or uncomfortable or getting wet or whatever it might be, right? So you kind of want them to be like lightweight, stretchy, but also you want the fabric to be strong because pants, they need to be durable. You're gonna be sitting on hard surfaces like maybe rocks and you're gonna be falling down, hopefully not so much, but sometimes you're gonna be falling down on the snow and like just going down the hill and you need, you don't wanna have a hole in your pants on the first day of skiing, right? So you want a fabric that has high abrasion strength and is very durable. So that's something that I would definitely ask the fabric supplier. I would be like, hey, hey, I need a good, strong, durable fabric for these pants. Now, you can combine the two. You can have a lightweight, super stretchy, comfortable fabric for maybe the thighs and, um, you know, poor parts of the pants and then have like a stronger, more durable fabric on the seat and on the knees and at the bottom of the pants where there is much wear and tear of the pants, okay? So you can combine the two, you can have two different fabrics. What else do you need? You need to have a DWR uh, finish on the outside of the fabric, on the face side of the fabric. What that is, it's a durable water repellent and it keeps water repelling, like just rolling off the fabric and keeps the fabric dry. This is gonna wear off over time, so the customer will have to reapply this uh, either with a wash-in or a spray. And then on the inside of the fabric, you want to have a coating or a membrane on the fabric. You can choose to have uh, just a simple milky coating, which is just like, it's like a white film that you can see on the back side of the fab fabric and you can um, determine how much waterproofness you want and how much breathability you want. And the higher numbers, the more breathable, the more waterproof, the more expensive the membrane is gonna be. So you need to keep that in mind. Do you, are you designing top of the line ski wear? Then you can choose the best. If you're designing a lower price point ski pants, you need to choose lower numbers. So, that's something to consider. So when designing ski pants, you need to decide if you're designing shell pants or insulated two-layer pants. So what that means, uh, when you're designing a shell pants, you want to have a three-layer fabric. You have the fabric that you chose, it has the coating, and then it has a soft, warm, comfortable backing on it. And it's all laminated together to become one fabric. So it's actually, actually three layers, that's why it's called three layer fabric. It has, it's the fabric and it's the coating and it's the backing, the soft fleece trico backing that you wanna have on the inside. So it's sandwiched, melted, laminated together. So it's lightweight and there is just one fabric, but it has everything you need. It's warm and comfortable and keeps you dry. 
right? Um, so you can choose that, but it's a little bit more expensive than the two layer fabric. Two layer fabric is the fabric that you chose and the coating on the back side, laminated together. Um, there is also something called two and a half layers. And that's usually when you have a fabric and then you have the coating. And then there's like a very thin, like a mesh layer laminated um, to the backing of the coating. Okay. So yeah. I can show you this later in another video if you want. Okay, what is insulation? Insulation is padding to keep you warm, basically. And it's measured in grams, so you can add um, 100 grams of insulation all throughout the jacket to keep you warm. Or you can have maybe 100 grams in the body of the jacket and maybe just 80 grams in the sleeves. So the sleeves are not as warm and not as sweaty when you're moving. So you need air vents for your pants because you're skiing and being very active and moving around and it's going to get hot and it's going to get humid and you want to just let some steam out. So a lot of pants have long air vents on um, the outside of the pants going from like the thigh and all the way down past the knee. Um, some people have several air vents, maybe one on the thigh and then um, one on the back. Um, it's up to you, but I would also I would remember to have mesh lining inside the air vents. So when you open it up to let the steam out, you don't let the snow in. Okay, so you want to keep nice and warm and dry when skiing. So air vents, yes, mesh lining inside is a must. Okay. And again, like with the ski jacket that I mentioned before, um, with the air vents, you can choose if you want a one-way zipper or two-way zippers. Two-way zippers can be opened from either side, open and closed from either side. You can open it in the center or just from the sides. Um, one-way zipper is just open and close, just like normal, um, like you have on your jeans, that's a one-way zipper. On your ski jackets you usually have a one-way zipper at the front but sometimes you have a two-way zipper meaning you can open it from the bottom as well so that's one way two-way zippers two-way zippers are more expensive so you need to consider that but it gives you more flexibility so that if you have a zipper um, going across your thigh from the front to the back then you can open it uh, only in the front if you want, or open it only in the back if you want. If you have a two-way zipper, you can open it from either side. So it gives a wider range of flexibility. Um, also, do you want to use waterproof zippers or do you want to have a placket over them to keep the water out? That's something to consider. And again, it's a cost issue. Waterproof zippers are more expensive. So you need to consider that. Um, for the pants, you want to have a zipper opening on the outside of the of the pants, of the leg opening. Um, this allows you to make the pants wider at the opening and pull it over your ski boots. So that's important. So um, designing ski pants can be kind of like, you sometimes feel like you're designing 70s um, hippie pants because they get wider at the bottom, right? But you need to have room at the bottom because you want the pants to fit over the ski boots. So you just need to push that aside and just remember that the fit is what matters here. And you need to have enough room to put the pants over the ski boots. I would advise you to have a snow gaiter on the inside. So you can have um, an elastic snow gaiter, kind of like the powder skirt we had on the ski jackets. And this will keep snow from entering into your ski into your pants and you can have this the gator can be inside your ski boots and then the pants will go outside the ski boots and it just seals everything off so no snow can come into your pants and make you wet and cold okay so what else do you need you need pockets for sure um some ski pants only have like two pockets one on each side some ski pants have a pocket on the back and some have lower pockets on the thighs. Whatever you choose, consider the placement of the pockets with the ski jacket 
and also with the use for the wearer. Do you need to have room for a map to be in there or a GPS something in there? If you're designing pants to go with like a really long ski jacket, then you want to place the pockets on the pants lower on the thighs, right? You don't want to have to like lift up your jacket in order to get to your pockets. So consider how long the ski jacket is and where you place the pockets on the pants so you can allow for easy access, right? Then for the knees, I like to do um, some shaping around the knees. So I would normally add two, four, four darts normally uh, around the knees to just give it a better shape and just better movement. And um, this is my advice for you to do. You need to think about the movement of the skier. So the, the ski pants, they can be narrow but they need to have enough room so you can move or you need to have a very flexible and stretchy fabric and stretchy lining if you have a lining in the pants so that you can move easily because it's all when you're skiing you're not standing still you're not just sitting there having hot chocolate sometimes you do that but basically you're moving and you need the pants to move with you and allow you to move freely so you want a motion fit you want a good stretchy flexible fit if you are designing ski pants to go with ski jacket, a ski jacket that you've designed, you can have some attachment between the powder skirt of the jacket and the pants to just seal everything off and to keep you nice and warm and dry and to keep all the snow out. So that's a good tip. And that is how you design ski pants. If you like this video and found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button and share it with your friends. And be sure to subscribe because I post new videos every single week, sharing all my fashion secrets and sharing all of my experience as a fashion designer with you. So thank you for watching. Have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.